<clears throat> All right. My name is Andrew Bliss, and this is my senior project. Did you know that in 2020, $1.57 trillion is the amount of student loan debt outstanding in the United States? To put that into perspective, that is about $587 billion more than the total U.S. credit card debt. Those are scary numbers. 54% of college attendees taken on student debt, including student loans, to pay for their education. So more than half the people going to college are taking out loans. $38,785 is the average amount of student loan debt per borrower in the United States. That is just the average. Some student debt loans can get over to 100 grand for four years of college. 14% of adults have student loans that they are paying off and 6.5% amount of student debt is at least 90 days past due or in default. I made my project about how beneficial trade schools are to certain people that prefer a hands-on learning experience. I came up with my project of building a log splitter because over the summer I was splitting wood as a side job and as I was splitting wood by hand, I thought about how much it could be more beneficial if I had a log splitter. I planned out my log splitter by taking ideas from other people that have built log splitters and chose features from each one to put them all into one to what I want in my log splitter. This is an important topic to me because I've never been a kid who puts effort into wanting to learn in school because I'm not interested in sitting in a classroom and being lectured. I would much rather be in a hands-on learning experience and because of that I have enrolled in the CRTC program construction trades for the last two years. My overall goal of this project was to learn about the pros and cons of choosing a trade school versus a four-year college after high school. I am also going to a trade school next year to become a welder and looking at the cost benefit was a part of my decision to go to a trade school over a four-year college and it helped with my research for this project. Throughout my research, I learned that going to a trade school opens up the possibilities to learning daily skills that most people hire out for. My hope is to give my audience more knowledge about the benefits to going to trade school in comparison to four-year colleges and universities. My essential question was, in comparison, what are the financial and long-term benefits to a trade slash apprenticeship programs versus a four-year college and universities for graduating seniors? A key part of my research was looking for the different costs between the two options trade school and apprenticeship programs versus colleges and universities. More than two thirds of college students graduate with a large amount of student loan debt and one in four American adults are paying off student loans. Among the 2018 graduates, 69% took out loans. Of these graduates, they graduated with an average of $29,800 in debt. This data is according to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. This was important for me to know because I, I do not want to have to pay off student loans for a lot of years after college and also I don't want to go back to school for four more years. One thing about trade schools that I like is that you can learn to do the tasks that people usually hire someone to do. For me, I want to be a welder. For example, if you were looking to weld the frame of your car to fix a hole, without going to trade school or knowing how to fix a problem like this, you would have to first do a lot of research to hire someone. Then you would not only need to make an appointment, but also drop off your vehicle, and which can be an inconvenience. And then you need to pay not only for parts, but also for time and labor of the welder. Versus me, who is going to a trade school for welding, I'll be able to do it myself. I'll have the parts, and I could easily access them. I'll have access to the equipment for the job, and then can schedule around my own time to complete the job. My project is about showing people that trade school are a great option for hands-on learners and for people looking to get into specific career fields fast. Another part of my project is the money benefits going to a trade school after high school to enter the workforce earlier with less debt. It also shows that if you want to do something or build something yourself without hiring an expert, it is possible to become the expert yourself. For my project, I built a log splitter from start to finish. I have not built anything like this before, but I am stepping out of my comfort zone and going for it. In conclusion, this project, I have learned that I am capable of learning and creating new things on my own without hiring someone to do it for me, as long as it is something that I am interested in. And that's my senior project.
Nice job. Thank you, AJ. What kind of questions do you guys have for AJ about his project? Um, how long did it take you to make the log splitter? Um, so I had I had most of the parts already to, to start building it. And then over the weekends, I just worked on it here and there. And then to get to my final project, to what it ended up being. And is the log splitter fully functioning? Uh, yeah, I just, I'm just waiting on a couple of the hydraulic hoses to come in because mm -hmm. they were on back order. So I'm just waiting for those to come in and then it should be all set. That's awesome. Um, so did you have a big sense of pride and accomplishment at the end of this? Yeah, it was cool to see from just a pile of metal going into a structure when I've done with it. That's awesome. Congratulations. Nice Thank job. You. Okay.